story tonight. Two on your side is hearing from the family of Jalen Griffin. It was just over 24 hours ago. The Buffalo police announced that they had found him dead in an attic nearly four years after he went missing at the age of 12. And tonight, two on your side's Andy Payton sat down with Jalen's family and he joins us now from the newsroom. Andy. Scott, Jalen's family, as you can imagine, is heartbroken. It tells me tonight all they want now is answers. And I ask the Lord to give me strength. That's how I process it. Shirley Banks has spent the last three and a half years praying. I, I can't tell you what I say. I just know I pray. Angela Anderson has done the same. Every morning I wake up, I pray. Before I go to sleep, I pray. But no amount of prayer. And I held that up until yesterday. Could prepare them for the news they received Monday. And they told me that they had found him and he was deceased. Authorities say the body of their grandson and nephew, Jalen Griffin, was found Friday in the attic of this home on Sheffield Avenue in South Buffalo, nearly four years after Jalen went missing at the age of 12. I was mad. I got mad because it was like, who would do that to a child? Authorities also saying they have ruled the death a homicide and that they believe the body has been there for quite some time, but not giving any details as to how long. So many questions, so many detail, but not enough detail. Put it that way. Leaving the family still praying. It's not over until we find out everything. But now for justice. He, she, we, they, whoever, they need to answer. They need to take responsibility for what they done. Now, Jalen would have turned 16 next Monday. The family will still have that celebration, but now in his honor at the Memorial Circle on Paderewski Drive. We'll have those full details on our website, WGRZ.com. For now, on your side in the newsroom, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. All right, Andy, thank you. And now to another big.